as all of our calls are recorded. If this is a fire, police, or medical emergency, please hang up and call 911. Your personal information may be required by our divisional partners and representatives working on their behalf to proceed with this request. Your information is collected under the City of Toronto Act 2006 and Bylaw 878-2004. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls and as a result your wait time may be higher than normal. We sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. If you choose to call us back at a later time, our customer service representatives are here to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can access some of our services online at www.toronto.ca 311. 311 Toronto is committed to providing the best service possible to all customers. We remind callers that aggressive behavior, harassment or coarse language, will not be tolerated and may lead to ending the call interaction, if necessary. Please listen carefully to the following options as our menu options have changed. For property tax and utility bills, press 1. For noise, press 2. For water, press 3. For all other inquiries, press 9 or hold for the next available customer service representative. All of our customer service representatives are currently assisting other callers. Please hold and we will answer your call as quickly as possible. Please select your music genre featuring songs from Toronto artists. For rock, folk and country, press 1. For hip hop, soul and R&B, press 2. For jazz, classical and world, press 3. For electronic and ambient, press 4. For no music option, press 5. Good. I was wondering if you could tell me what the city means by human rights approach to encampment. Sorry? I was wondering if you could explain what the city means in its motion to take a human rights approach to encampment. Okay, let me see what information we have. Just one moment. Because I think their current actions are these contradictions of the motion that they passed. Okay, so I'll take a look, sir. Just one moment. Okay, so what I can actually do, uh, let's see, let's see the option. Okay, so in order to answer this question, I can actually transfer you over to the city's human rights office. Oh, okay. All right, just one moment. And did you want to take down the number just in case? Uh, I'm on my bike. Can you email it to me? Um, just one moment. And what's your email? Adam Golding at gmail.com. G O L D, no you. Okay. At gmail.com. Yep. Okay, so I'll have the number emailed and I will also transfer you now. Okay, thank you. No problem. And before I do, is there anything else I can assist you with? I uh, read the words that they're writing a land board now and they should send anybody who cares down there. Okay, understood. Okay, all right, yes, transfer you over now. You're welcome. For the City of Toronto's Human Rights. 
As a result of COVID-19, the Human Rights Office will not be answering live calls. This voicemail, however, will be continued to be monitored regularly. Staff may be delayed in responding to your inquiry. Please allow for up to two business days for a response. If your call is regarding an issue or question related to employee services, such as COVID-19 response, pensions, payroll, benefits, vacation time, recruitment, learning, and or redeployment, these services are now being provided by Team Central. They can be reached by calling 416-338-0016. If you are an employee of the Toronto Public Service, or if you are a City of Toronto service recipient or facility user, please leave your first and last name with spelling, your phone number, and a brief description of your inquiry, and a member of the Human Rights Office will return your call. Please note that the information you provide will be maintained in our confidential records in accordance with city policy and applicable legislation in order to respond to your inquiry. For more information or to submit a complaint to our secure online complaint form, you can also visit www.toronto.ca for the Accessibility and Human Rights page. If you are not an employee of the Toronto Public Service, or if you are not a City of Toronto service recipient or facility user, and you have a human rights complaint about an organization, including Toronto Transit Commission and or Toronto Community Housing Commission, please contact the organization directly or call the Human Rights Legal Support Centre at 416-597-4900. Again, the Human Rights Legal Support Centre, 416-597-4900. Thank you and stay safe. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, my name is Adam Golding. I'm going to make a human rights complaint about the city of Toronto. I'm on my way to Lamport Stadium right now where they're engaged in evicting homeless people in basically in contraindication to the human rights approach that was passed by council. Unfortunately, this motion is in contradiction, essentially, to the zero encampment motion. I would submit that these two motions are inconsistent. The human rights approach is not consistent with a zero encampment approach. Um, I'm not sure if it's best to take this at the level of this office or to complain directly to the UN about human rights violations in Toronto, but that's the path I'll be taking if this doesn't work. Uh, my name is Adam Golding, A-D-A-M-G-O-L-D-I-N-G. Six four seven nine oh nine two one oh nine. It's best to reach me by email, A D A M G O L D I N G at Gmail dot com. And uh it's happening right now at Lamport, so human rights are being eroded as we speak. You should send somebody there.